Well, after Chief Executive Carrie Lam's announcement yesterday that the government would suspend plans to change the extradition law, the question very much became, would Hong Kongers buy it? Well, judging by the crowds here today and the people who have turned out the sentiment here, people really aren't buying it. They are angry still uh, at her plans that she hasn't scrapped them entirely and are calling for Carrie Lam to step down. Carrie Lam ignored our opinions. She just treated our views like they were rubbish. She even criticized the peaceful protest on June 12 as a riot. But a lot of people who were there that day have said online that that was not the case. And we are coming out today just to fight for the rights that we deserve. The government has to shoulder some responsibility. If they listened to the one million people who marched last Sunday, and if they withdrew the bill after some clashes started, I'm sure there wouldn't be injuries or even death. I joined today's march because I was roused by the crowd's indignation. Even though I have an exam tomorrow, I still have to protest. The police labelled what was originally a peaceful gathering as a riot and used tear gas and rubber bullets. It was a lot more violent than before. The group of young people out there on Wednesday was simply voicing their demands. And to have the police open fire on them, I feel that was absolutely inhumane. We didn't do anything wrong, and it wasn't a riot. Now, they're also angry at what they describe as police brutality on Wednesday night when police used tear gas uh, to disperse uh, protesters that day. Those violent scenes that we saw on Wednesday are in stark contrast to what I'm seeing today here. It's remained largely peaceful. That doesn't mean that people aren't passionate. They really have come out here in the droves today. Uh, the crowds are enormous and they're really here to take a stand and to demand better leadership.